power, and it looks like it looking at you. <laughs> well, you know, Marshall, I don't weigh a whole lot soaking wet, and by the way, I am soaking wet, so there you go. Winds are coming right off the Gulf of Mexico, and so we don't have, as Stephanie mentioned, we don't have any friction. This wind is coming right off the water. The only little break we're getting is the barrier island, and that's only a few feet above sea level, so that's not blocking this wind. What the barrier islands are doing, like Ship Island out here, uh, it is breaking uh, those waves. So the waves are breaking out here. What we're seeing on the coast here, about three to four footers. The water's been trying all morning to get uh, over on Highway 90, but so far it hasn't had much of an opportunity to do that. And I don't think it's going to get much higher. Now it is around the, uh, the Island View Casino, but get a sense that uh, Highway 90 is going to be in pretty good shape. This whole area was covered with water, 25 plus foot storm surge along the Mississippi coast during Katrina. The winds are going to be the issue uh, this afternoon. We're going to have some gust up to 60 miles an hour, I think. Some of those stronger rain bands to our south are going to come in. So the real threat is not the surge. And for homeowners, maybe some minor wind damage, maybe some shingles coming off. As far as I can tell right now, the power is still on here uh, in this part of the county here in Gulfport. But the severe threat continues. The tornado watch till 4. We've had numerous warnings this morning across Mobile County, Escambia, Santa Rosa County. That's, those are the two far western counties in the Florida Panhandle. And we continue to have issues over there with those bands streaming in. If we're going to get severe weather, we're going to get it from those bands to our south on the Titan radar. As far as damage around here, we've seen none. We've got one limb over here that uh, blew down. In fact, it blew down off the tree just near uh, where we're uh, setting up the camera. And then it blew all the way over here. And that's about the only limb we've seen come down. Other than that, damage is uh, pretty much at a premium. So, so far we're looking good on that. We're looking good on the surge. I don't think we're going to have any issues on uh, flooding, although there is a flood watch out. But the, uh, we're going to need four to five inches in six hours to have any serious uh, flooding issues. And we're certainly not, we're, we're certainly not going to get that. But boy, I tell you, these gusts come through and they really ratchet up. The difference I'm feeling between this and Fay is that Fay's gusts seem to be only about 10 miles an hour higher than the sustained winds. These gusts are about 20 miles an hour higher than the sustained winds. So it really, you know, catches you off guard and knocks you. And um, on Titan radar, you can you can see those bands to our south, yellows, reds, and oranges. They're going to be rotating up here. So it's going to get worse at times through the rest of the morning and this afternoon as, wow, that's got to be sustained at least 40 miles an hour, maybe 45. So we're going to have this the rest of the afternoon. Again, severe weather, Marshall and Heather, is the concern and some minor wind damage. But uh, other than that, uh, this is uh, certainly nothing uh, as bad as Katrina was. And we didn't, expect it. We, didn't, we didn't expect it to be that bad here along coastal Mississippi. Actually, bigger waves over along the Florida, Alabama coast because they don't have those barrier islands. Seas over there have been running 15 to 16 feet. And uh, surge over there, actually. Caravel earlier in Appalachia Bay was up to four feet. Our water here came up about, has, has come up about four feet this morning. Let's go back to you. We'll keep you updated as the, the squalls continue to come off the Gulf of Mexico. All right, hang in there, Mike. And obviously, you know, one thing we have to be concerned about in this area is just loose objects blowing around in these kind of conditions. But tornadoes are also a major concern for us, and we watched it all the way from the Panhandle of Florida into central Louisiana. What we're showing you here is what Doppler indicated radar rotation looks like. Those uh, reddish spots that you see there, one being pointed at right now, uh, these have accounted for tornado warnings, and there's like four of these right now, many more warnings, however. And in fact, a tornado warning in Hancock County earlier did spawn a tornado. Unofficial report from a ham operator at about 826, a tornado spun up near the Stennis Space Center. What's